Hello, welcome to part 2 of this series. Let's move to our 26th question. Prolonged walking or running in those who are not accustomed to it can cause fracture of Option A. Talus Option B. Calcaneum Option C. Metatarsal shaft Option D. Phalanx And the answer is Option C. Metatarsal shaft. Let's move to our 27th question. All the following are the muscles of rotator cuff except Option A. Supraspinatus Option B. Teres minor Option D. Teres major Option D. Subscapularis And the answer is Option C. Teres major Moving to our 28th question. The contraindication to postural drainage includes Option A. Hemiopathesis Option B. Recent myocardial infarction Option C. Pneumothorax Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Moving to our 29th question Number of bronchopulmonary segment in the right lane Option A. 7 Option B. 8 Option C. 9 Option D. 10 And the answer is Option D 10 Moving to our 30th question Regarding the length volume in an adult, all are true except Option A Total length capacity is 6 liters Option B Inspiratory reserve volume is 3 liters Option C Tidal volume is 500 ml Option D Expiratory reserve volume is 3 liters And the answer is Option D. Expiratory reserve volume is 3 liters. Moving to our 31st question. A muscle produces the most force output when it is contracting. Option A. Eccentrically. Option B. Isometrically. Option C. Concentrically. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is. Option C. Concentrically. Moving to our 32nd question. Factors contributing to the hypertrophy of the muscle fibers include all of the following except Option A. Increase in the amount of protein Option B. Increase in the density of the capillary bed Option C. Deinnervation of the muscle Option D. Biochemical changes And the answer is Option C. Deinnervation of the muscle Moving to our 33rd question Vitamin that is produced in the body on exposure to the sunlight Option A. Vitamin A Option B. Vitamin B Option C. Vitamin C Option D. Vitamin D And the answer is Option D. Vitamin D Moving to our 34th question Deconditioning effects associated with prolonged bed rest includes all of the following except Option A. Decreased muscle mass Option B. Increased heart volume Option C. Decreased bone mineral density Option D. Decreased osteostatic tolerance And the answer is Option B. Increased heart volume Moving to our 35th question Non-thermal effects of ultrasound Option A. Cavitation Option B. Acoustic streaming Option C. Straining wigs Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above. Moving to our 36th question. Most shortwave diatomy emissions operate at Option A. 13.56 MHz Option B. 27.12 MHz Option C. 40.68 MHz Option D. None of the above. And the answer is Option B. 27.12 MHz Moving to our 37th question, mechanism of action of tense include Option A. Segmental inhibition of the pain signals to the brain and the dorsal horn Option B. Activation of descending inhibitory pathways and release of the endogenous opioids Option C. Both A and B Option D. None of the above And the answer is Option C. Both A and B Moving to our 38th question 
which is the modality that uses electrical current signals of slightly different frequencies option a short wave diatomy option b median wave by diatomy option c interferential current option d ultrasound therapy and the answer is option c interferential current moving to our 39th question etoims stands for option a electrical treatment option for intramuscular stimulation option b electrical twitch obtaining intramuscular stimulation option c electrical twitch observed on intramuscular stimulation option d none of the above and the answer is option b electrical twitch obtaining intramuscular stimulation moving to our 40th question who developed conductive education option a magnet root option b wooster option c andres petto option d bobat and the answer is option c andres petto moving to our 41st question cobat magnet knot and dorothy was developed option a proprioceptive neurovascular facilitation option b synergic movement patterns option c progressive pattern movements option d reflex creeping and reflex reaction and the answer is option a proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation moving to our 42nd question which of the following is not a functional sub phase of the swing phase of the gait cycle option a initial swing option b mid swing option c pre swing option d terminal swing and the answer is option c pre swing moving to our 43rd question which is a normal distribution of the floor contact period during the gait cycle option a 60% swing and 40% stands option b 60% stands and 40% swing option c 60% of stance face swing and 40% of double support option d 60% of the double support and 40% of the stance plus swing and the answer is option b 60% stands and 40% swing moving to our 44th question the body weight transmission for a unilateral cane opposite to the affected side is approximately option a 75 percentage option b 50 percentage option c 25 percentage option d 0 percentage and the answer is option c 25 percentage Moving to our 45th question, axillary crutch length is measured from anterior axillary fold to the point how many inches lateral to the fifth toe? Option A, 6 inch, option B, 4 inch, option C, 2 inch, option D, 1 inch. And the answer is, option A, 6 inch. Moving to our 46th question, while doing cervical traction, the best clinical relief occurs in option a 20 to 30 degree of extension option b 20 to 30 degree of flexion option c neutral position option d none of the above and the answer is option b 20 to 30 degree of flexion moving to our 47th question the temperature range used in paraffin wax in degree celsius option a 49 to 51 degree option b 52 to 54 degree option c 55 to 57 degree option d 58 to 60 degree and the answer is option b 52 to 54 degree moving to our 48th question the adverse effect of the ultraviolet rays include all except Option A psoriasis, option B premature aging of the skin, option C non melanoma skin cancers, option D cataract and the answer is option A psoriasis. Moving to our 49th question, a patient coming to you finds it difficult to flex and extend his spine, his chest expansion is also reduced, what is the most possible condition? 
ऑप्शन ए गोटी आर्थराइटिस ऑप्शन बी रोमेटोइड आर्थराइटिस ऑप्शन सी सिस्टमिक ग्लूपस एरिथमैटिस ऑप्शन डी एंग्लोसिंग स्पॉन्डलाइटिस एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एंग्लोसिंग स्पॉन्डलाइटिस मूविंग टू आवर 50th क्वेश्चन सैटरडे नाइट पैलेसी इज ऑप्शन ए अल्ना नो पैलेसी ऑप्शन बी रेडियल नो पैलेसी ऑप्शन सी एक्सलरी नो पैलेसी ऑप्शन डी मीडियल नो पैलेसी एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी रेडियल नो पैलेसी सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे इफ यू नीड क्लैरिफिकेशन फॉर एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अबाउ डू कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल बी बैक विथ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ दिस सीरीज सोन सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल फॉर वॉचिंग दैट वीडियो थैंक यू